Welcome to this session of our Corel Draw question series. I'm Roger Wombold, Senior Product Trainer at Corel. In this video, we'll be looking at some of the top questions that our technical support team receives. Now, just as a side note, as I'm using CorelDraw 2020 to show the on-screen slides and in-app dialog boxes, I'll also be using CorelDraw 2018 to demonstrate the answers to some of the other questions. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click on the link in the description below to go to our tutorial page. Here, you can download a written copy of this Q&A session and submit your own questions to be answered in an upcoming video. Let's begin. I've been told that I should reset the defaults for Corel Draw. How do I do that? In a situation where Corel Draw is not responding as it should, or menus seem to be missing or corrupt, it may be necessary to reset the defaults. There are two ways in which you can achieve this. First, make sure that Corel Draw is not running. And while launching Corel Draw, hold down the F8 key. This message will appear, which reads, Are you sure you wish to overwrite the current workspace settings with the factory defaults? Answer yes to this. The second method is to reset curl draw within the application data folder. To do this, hold down the Windows key. This is the key between the Control and the Alt key and tap the letter R. This will open up a run dialog box. In here, type in percent %APPDATA% percent, and hit enter. This will open up the application data folder. Double click on the Corel folder and in here I have multiple versions installed. It's simply a matter of renaming the folder for which version you want to reset. I'm going to type in the word old to the beginning of this and now when I launch CorelDRAW 2018 it will be as though I've just installed the application for the first time. How do I clear temp files to prevent CorelDRAW from slowing down or locking up? If you feel that Corel Draw seems to be getting a bit sluggish, chances are that you may have an excessive number of temp files on the system. This can hinder saving, printing, and exporting files. Here's what you need to do. Hold down the Windows key and tap the letter R. This will open up the Run dialog box, and in here I'm going to type in percent %TMP% percent, and then hit Enter. This is going to open up my temporary folder in here. Do a control A to select all, and then it's simply a matter of hitting the delete key. What is the best way to troubleshoot launch issues with Corel Draw? If resetting the defaults for Corel Draw did not resolve an issue, it could be the result of some application that is running in the background. These applications are called TSRs, which stands for Terminate and Stay Resident. To disable these, we use the Microsoft Configuration Utility, or MS Config. Hold down the Windows key and tap the letter R. In the Run dialog box, type in msconfig and hit Enter. On the General tab, select Diagnostic Startup, and then Reboot Your System. Now see if you can duplicate the issue. If you can't, this is an indication that something that was running in the background is probably the cause of the issue. Follow the steps above to open MS Config again. Then on the General tab, choose Selective Startup. On the Services tab, select Hide All Microsoft Services, and then click Disable All. This will uncheck the applications. Now it's a matter of enabling TSRs a few at a time until you isolate the one that's causing the issue. Remembering that each time you enable some TSRs, you'll have to restart the system and try the application again. My CorelDRAW 2019 files are trying to open in CorelDRAW 2017 that I still have on my system. How can I fix this? This sounds like a file association issue and that CorelDRAW 2019 has been changed to that of CorelDRAW 2017. To change that, simply right-click on a CorelDRAW file and select Open With. 
in here we're going to select choose another app and what we'll need to do is select the most current version of CorelDRAW that you have. Once that's done, simply click on this checkbox that says always use this app to open CDR files and then click OK. You will now have set the default application to the newer version. If you have files in 2020, it does not allow them to be opened in 2019. Is there a way to fix this? When saving a file out, it's possible to save the file as a previous version. To do this, from the File menu, select Save As, and in the Save As dialog box, under Version, I'll change it to the version that I want to save it down to. I have customized my workspace. How can I save it? Prior to CorelDRAW 2019, from the Tools menu, Go to Options. With Workspace selected, simply click on Export Workspace. In CorelDRAW 2019 and 2020, it is still from the Tools menu. Go to Options and then click on Workspace. Here, simply click on the Export and this will allow you to save this workspace out. I cannot see the thumbnails for my files. They all look the same. This can happen if you have the wrong version of the Corel Graphics Windows Shell extension. To fix this, open up the Windows Control Panel and locate the program features. To do this, tap the Windows key and type in Control. Click on Control Panel, locate Programs and Features. Once this is populated, Locate the Corel Graphics Windows Shell extension and right click and select Uninstall. If by chance you do not have the Windows Shell extension there, not to worry. The next step is to locate the most current version of CorelDRAW. Right click, select Uninstall Change, and in the Uninstall Change dialog box, you'll want to select Repair Install. Once the repair has been done, Restart your system, and that should address the issue. I have bought a new laptop, but it does not have a disk drive in it. How can I install CorelDRAW? If you have a requirement to reinstall CorelDRAW and do not have access to a DVD or the necessary files, they can be accessed from this location. Simply scroll down on the page for the version that you're looking to install and download the uh, install files. A side note here is this goes back only as far as CorelDRAW X8. When I move objects on the screen, the redraw rate is very slow. If you're having display issues or printing to a non-PostScript printer and having problems, an outdated video driver may be the culprit. To check the video driver, do the following. Hold down the Windows key and tap the letter R on the keyboard. In here, we type in DX. D-I-A-G, and hit Enter. This is going to open up the CorelDRAW DirectX Diagnostics tool. In here, click on the Display tab. Now, just as a side note, if you happen to have more than one display attached to your system, you will see more than one tab here. It doesn't really matter which tab you select. On the right-hand side, third line down, is the driver date. If this date is any more than about six months old, then on the left-hand side, take a look at the name of the video card you have and the manufacturer, go to their website, and download the latest driver that they happen to have and install that. That should address any issues that you may have. Why am I getting a message to reconnect a device? What does this mean? There are a couple of reasons that this may happen. It could be access privileges to certain folders, or possibly certain folders were moved or deleted. To fix this issue is pretty straightforward. In CorelDRAW, go to Tools, Options, Global. Select the file locations. Here, you may see some locations either grayed out or the path is in red. These are the ones that are causing the issue. Verify where they should be pointing to, and then select it, click on Edit, and point to the new location. Once you've fixed them all, simply restart CorelDRAW. 
That brings us to the end of this session. Again, if you're watching this video on YouTube, click on the link in the description below to go to our tutorial page. Here, you can download a written copy of this Q&A session and submit your own questions to be answered in an upcoming video.